you believe in fate? How about destiny? Are they the same thing? As I proceed through this tattle, remember what you know about fate and destiny, because that is where this tattle is from. Thank you for joining me. My name is Varni, and I am the Tarot Tattler. Let's dive right into your tattle, Taurus. Almost there. I love these cards so much, I, I had to use them again, Taurus. Okay, the first card out. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Now, Taurus, I just did a reading for you, <laughs> but I wasn't taping. And your special message was the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could be a large sum of money, Taurus. This could be winning the jackpot. This is financial stability, home, family. It sits in your hopes. Wow. And it sits in your hopes with you as the Queen of Pentacles, wanting to have that material success, wanting to be able to feel secure within the space that you are, Taurus. Now the energy that's balancing you is a new beginning, a messenger that delivers a message regarding some kind of creativity. This may be an invitation to go on, a, on an adventure, Taurus. Wow, in the nine of, in the, in your fears, it's the nine of wands. Now with the nine of wands, it's talking about having to have that energy of wanting to be protective. It's because we are being protected during that period and we misconstrue it, Taurus, as us being protective. And with the Two of Pentacles, this talks about harmonious change. This talks about balancing more than one responsibility successfully, Taurus. This might be you making your finances or whatever it is in the material work, material world work for you. What you should know, Taurus, is that there is a true love, something that is attached to your Ten of Pentacles. And you're looking at some kind of disappointment you might have experienced, maybe in the past. Maybe it is going on currently, Taurus, if it's the energy that that is showing up in your reading. This tells us that we have to go back to fate and destiny. That each person that comes into our energy has a role to play. Focus on, on how it makes you feel in order to be able to determine how to look at it, Taurus. It's always, always about ourselves. And there it is, wow having that different perspective on what disappointment could be. What happens is, Taurus, while you're focused on what isn't working, you cannot be then focused on what is working. Those energies, can you see, there's something that separates the two. True love, Taurus. With the Six of Cups, this is having the Ten of Pentacles with soul family, someone you might have known when you were younger. The Six of Cups gives us a, a warm feeling on the inside of being loved, of being accepted for who we are. And with the Page of Swords, this might be Trying out new things, Taurus. 
the Page of Swords could be something that catches your attention, Taurus. This is a messenger carrying news about your stability in the physical world, Taurus. With the Hermit energy, you might be finding yourself spending quite a lot of time at alone. Maybe surrounded by nature. Maybe at home, Taurus. But it gives you a time to reflect, to consider, to have that different perspective. This is tapping into hidden knowledge, Taurus. Now, in your physical world, you are hard at work, Taurus. With the Nine of Wands protected in order to be able to cut to continue with what it is you are trying to achieve. This is you using that Page of Swords energy of doing your research, looking up things, putting them together. Wow. Adding your heart to what it is that you are doing with the Queen of Cups. This could be you working with a Queen of Cups energy. Someone who is able to be unconditionally accepting of others. She has seen past what others see. She's able to balance her emotion because of it. What you should know, Taurus, Wow, this is something that came out in this reading that didn't tape. A new beginning. Once you have that different perspective, you will be able to see your celebration. Here it is. And here's your Two of Cups. Your perfect love. Something you grew from the Ace in your hidden position, Taurus. The Ten of Cups, happy home, happy family. Wow, Taurus, your new beginning. You're going towards happy home, happy family, having achieved past your own emotional fulfillment. What brought you here, Taurus, was hard work. With the Eight of Pentacles, this Taurus is not without the ability to put his or her shoulder to the grindstone. Something you did in your past, Taurus. This is some work that you've done in your past that led you to that Ace of Pentacles. It allowed you to be self-sufficient. Self it allowed you to be prosperous. It is with that independent view that you are doing this research, Taurus, writing down ideas. The energy taking you into the future, Taurus. Wow, is this... Six of Cups, the same family and home that you have in your current environment. This is being able to reciprocate. And where it is you are headed, Taurus. Wow, here's the Hierophant. This is family tradition. Working on family traditions our belief systems, everything that came before, our structures within a family, 
This is you leading Taurus with what it is you know. And are you moving Taurus? Because here's the chariot. Give me a second. Gucci wants to come in. She was scratching outside the door. With the chariot, fast forward motion. This is because you are able to balance your emotion, that you are able to ride as quickly as you can, Taurus, having that firm foundation of who you are and what you are about. What you should know, Taurus, is that this new beginning is not going to be without its challenges. It's not going to be something that's going to be easy. You might feel as though you are walking uphill. And it may come from all directions, Taurus. Feeling that disappointment itself was not easy. Now what's in your hidden position? Wow, Taurus. The fool moving towards a change of all of that in your hidden position. This new way of thinking gives you back your Ten of Cups, something you might have lost because you were focused on, on all of the wrong things, Taurus. Focus on what it is you have. And that is what leads to this new beginning that you are going to have. Now the outcome, as you see it in your mind, Taurus, wow. Now this is some kind of project you worked on in the past. Something from within that comes calling Taurus with the Knight of, Knight of Cups. This is a messenger bearing news that you want to hear. Wow. It is news of collaboration that brings you an ace. It is something that is offered to you with this collaboration, something that you are going to absolutely love, Taurus. The energy that's going to balance you is you're going to take a fresh approach on, on whatever it is that's coming your way. Surrounded by soul family here with the Six of Cups, Maybe something or someone you might have known from the past. Someone you might have worked with in the past, Taurus, with the Eight of Pentacles. As it appears in the physical world, the Seven of Wands. This is your creation, Taurus. Your tradition, your family, the values that you are able to exhibit within this culture is what is your creation. It might be something you would want to protect, Taurus. Wow, an illusion. This could be talking about creativity itself. It could talk about being able to stand outside and, and see a little bit more clearly because of what it is you've created. And under the deck, Taurus. Wow. Can you see this? The Ten of Pentacles. Happy home. Happy family. Surrounded by children. A few pets. Here's your stability, Taurus. Wow. I hope you've enjoyed this tattle. Until your next one. Bye for now, Taurus.